You may have heard the term NFT art and crypto art quite a few times over the past few months. And Mike Shinoda just last week announced that he will also jump on the bandwagon and create NFT art. So what on earth is NFT art? So let's try to really oversimplify this. In a nutshell, an NFT is the digital way of creating a provenance for an artwork, for a digital artwork. So it's a permanent record of proving that it is indeed the original and not a copy. And it also is the record of who owns it or who owned it before them, what they paid and the verification that it is indeed the original that got transferred from one person to another. So it's the digital provenance. NFT is short for non-fungible token and it refers to the artwork's digital encryption. It is based on blockchain technology. So what does that mean? So the token, the NFT, is like the identity card of the art piece. If you buy an NFT art piece, you need to identify that it's indeed the original and not a copy. So you need basically a passport and the NFT is, is the passport for a digital artwork. So to understand this, think about the Mona Lisa. The Mona Lisa is unique. It can never be replaced. If you replace it with another Mona Lisa, it is not the same anymore. So the Mona Lisa is non-fungible. Now a currency is the classic example of a fungible item. If you have five euros, it's always five euros. It doesn't matter the serial number of the bill that you have, it's still five euros. So you can exchange it with another bill that is also five euros and they both have the same value. You could not do that with the Mona Lisa. So the currency is fungible, it's a fungible item. The Mona Lisa will be non-fungible. Now with digital art, you would face a problem that someone could just take the code and copy it and then multiply it a million times and you have no way of proving that their copy is not the original because the code for the image would still be exactly the same. So you would need a unique identity. You need a token that proves that this is indeed the original. Now this is then called the NFT, the non-fungible token. But how do you verify that it is actually the original one? Because if someone else would say they have the original, like who is right? So this is where blockchain comes into play. Blockchain technology is a decentralized database of information. It is spread over millions of owners that are synced together in one web. So this is called nodes. So if someone faked the NFT, all the other synced nodes would then block it because the value does not correlate with the other nodes in the network. So they would identify themselves. The NFT of the art, digital art piece records the owners, the price, location and so on of the artwork. So it's actually a lot more precise than traditional art uh, provenances. So the NFT shows the proof of ownership and is a permanent record that is then stored and valued to millions of other nodes that all say, yes, indeed, this is true. An amazing feature of NFT art is that the artist has the possibility to directly get royalties for each time his pieces are sold or resold or auctioned off. Because it is linked to a, to a blockchain wallet, it is always giving back to the artist themselves. So you have a direct way of getting royalties if your piece is getting resold at a higher price, right? It's not just like a painting and someone sells it to a friend for five times the price and you never see anything of that money, right? So artists lose a lot of money with that. With NFT, they will get royalties each time because you have to go via the blockchain network that says, hey, this guy made it and we have to give him 5% royalties. So you actually support artists with this. So if you're new to this, I really hope that this helps you understand a bit why this is such a craze and why it is really important also for artists and the art world in general. It's not just about video game art that you can sell. It's a lot bigger and has a huge potential. So I will leave a few links in the description below with guides and uh, blogs where you can check out to learn more about it. You can also ask your art dealer if they may give you an introduction to this, like what you need to do, where you can get a, let's say a crypto wallet and so on, how this should work. If you want to check it out yourself and you're interested in it, like check out Mintable app, OpenSea, SuperRare or Rarible. These are four platforms that are quite big and they have a lot of information also about it, how to um, create an artwork, what it means, how it is. Cheers.